This morning, one of my students' job application got rejected from one of the biotech, bioinformatics company. And she was in tears. She contacted me and said, I was expecting a interview call at least and now they have rejected. I got this email, so what should I do? So this video is for her and many of you who get rejected on a daily basis in various job applications in the biotech sector. Now, there are two important things you have to remember whenever you get rejected in a job application. The first is rejection is not dead end. Okay, rejection could also mean uh, redirection. So maybe you need a better, uh, you deserve a better position or maybe it requires you for some other specialization. It, it is redirecting the job application rejection is actually redirecting you towards uh, better training or uh, uh, some improvement. Okay. And it may not be always with the skills. It could be with the CV. It could be with the application. It could be the soft skills, multiple things. Okay. So shift your mindset. Rejection is equal to redirection. Now, Having said that, the second important thing you have to remember is sometimes you have to restart intelligently all over again. So go back, look at your CV, see what exactly was missing according to the job description. So analyze the gaps, okay? Don't just move on and say that, okay, maybe the next company I'll try. Instead, introspect, okay? Find out what exactly, what skills they were looking in the job description. Did you mention those? Probably you forgot. And this is one very similar um, trait I have seen in most of the CVs. They forget because there are so many skills, they forget to mention the skills. For example, HPLC, CRISPR, regulatory affairs, next gen sequencing, especially next gen sequencing, okay, data analysis, all this clinical research. So you have to mention, right? So if you do not highlight the relevant uh, skill set which was required by the JD, the second thing is you have to highlight the relevant tools which you learned. Okay, techniques which you learned and then you have to also showcase how exactly you worked as a team player because if you worked in a project, you should have worked in some kind of teams, right? So you have to showcase that with documentation and presentation skills and that's how you get a job. So don't think that rejection is dead end. Rejection is simply meaning redirection towards restarting intelligently all over again. So this is my advice to all of you. Please don't get disheartened. There are better ways of doing things. You have to innovate on your job application. You have to innovate on your own self, on your personality, your CV, your skill set. Success will come all your way because you are a biotechnical subscriber. So thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon as a successful biotechnologist. All the best.